Hey guys, Bob Morreale here with the Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday video, we're going to talk to you about the differences between a load-bearing dyno and a non-load-bearing dyno. Alright, so uh, what's the primary differences between a load-bearing dyno and a non-load-bearing dyno? Why would you want to be tuned on one versus the other? Okay, so uh, let me start with the non-load bearing dyno type. It's very popular. It's, um, it was very popular a while ago, but it's becoming less popular now because it's being replaced with load bearing dynos because people have gotten kind of the picture of what they need to be tuning on, which is usually a load bearing dyno. The non-load bearing dynos, also known as inertia, they're very good for repetitive quick tests just to see if, just to see if a part has provided an improvement. But the problem is you can't really do what we would consider a very good job of tuning the car uh, with that part because there's no real load on the car that simulates what that car would actually experience as it goes down the road. So most of the time we recommend people tune on a load bearing dyno. Load bearing dynos usually use a device called an eddy brake which provides resistance to the, uh, to the car so that the engine experiences the load that the vehicle would actually experience as it goes down the road. The way the load is applied is also quite important. There are different dyno brands and different dyno types and how they apply loads are generally different. Most of your higher end dynos will apply a load that's actually designed for that actual vehicle that's on the dyno. So if you're dyno testing a big pickup truck with a large frontal area and it's 5,000 pounds, that truck will get a higher load placed on it than a vehicle such as a Corvette that might weigh 3,000 pounds and has a low frontal area with less wind resistance. So as you look at different dynos, you can look at the types of loads they apply and how they do it when you enter the, uh, the test setup screens. The higher end dynos will usually use a type of setup that tells the dyno the actual car that's on it. So the load that's applied, it is not a flat percentage of the dyno's load capabilities. It is not a simple linear function where you get more load applied the faster you go. Normally load, it looks more like a J curve. It goes up more rapidly as vehicle speed increases because of wind resistance. So that's how the uh, higher end types of dynos usually load a vehicle. Now the way that the uh, dyno applies the load is when the user enters the data into the computer, the computer has to have a way of carrying out the load uh, onto the vehicle. And that's usually done by way of what's called an eddy brake. Now the eddy brake is basically like a large electromagnetic brake where more current is applied and more resistance is offered to the wheels. So as vehicle speed increases, resistance goes up with uh, the correct amount for that actual vehicle. So when you're looking for a place to get your vehicle tuned, you might consider asking them, do they have an inertia dyno or do they have a load bearing dyno? And then ask them, how does their dyno apply the load? Is a simple function of how much power can the eddy brake put out and then some percentage of that, which is generally not what we would recommend, or is a dyno that's capable of loading the vehicle as the speed increases for that actual vehicle. And so you do want to get a tune on that type of dyno so that when they're done tuning your car or when you're done tuning your car, you don't have to go double check all your stuff on the street or on the drag strip because if the load is off, your air fuel ratio will be off and almost more importantly, the amount of spark advance that the engine will tolerate will be off. Because if it doesn't have the right amount of load for that vehicle, it's not gonna tolerate the same amount that it would in real life. I hope you've enjoyed this Tech Tuesday video. If you have any questions, give us a call at 727-264-8875, or you can always visit us online at thetuningschool.com. Thanks, and have a great day.